What's going on everyone? This is Wander World Travel Explorations. Bringing you an incredible guide to Bali, filled with the best things to do. Let's dive right in. We've got 35 amazing activities and locations for you to explore in Bali, starting off with the majestic Mount Agung. Mount Agung, first we have is Mount Agung, the largest volcano on the island, towering over 3,000 meters, that's nearly 10,000 feet, above sea level. This massive volcano is a breathtaking sight, offering panoramic views of the island from its summit. When you're up near Mount Agung, you should definitely check out Ahmed Beach, a well-known destination for diving and snorkeling. Ahmed Beach at Ahmed Beach, we took an ocean tour on a small boat. The crystal clear water gave us a chance to see vibrant marine life, including colorful fish and some unique starfish, like the blue starfish that are often spotted here. Ahmed is a diver's paradise, with various dive schools catering to all levels of experience. It's also a bit quieter and more laid back compared to the more tourist-heavy southern part of Bali, making it perfect for a tranquil getaway. Diving adventures If diving is on your Bali bucket list, you'll find the northeast side of the island is perfect for this. Ahmed and nearby Nusa Panita are both popular for their diving spots. We encountered coral reefs, sea turtles, and more of those unique blue starfish. If you're not ready to dive, there's plenty of snorkeling here as well. Ahmed is a hidden gem, perfect for those who want a mix of adventure and relaxation. Sunset Point One of the highlights of visiting the Ahmed area is Sunset Point, where you can get amazing views of Mount Agung from the water's edge. Imagine sipping your favorite drink, relaxing by an infinity pool, and watching the sky turn vibrant colors as the sun sets behind the volcano. There's a $20 minimum spend to get a table, but it's definitely worth it for the view and the experience. The sunsets here are nothing short of spectacular, painting the sky in a mix of pinks, oranges, and purples. Sekumpul Waterfall next on our list is one of my personal favorite spots in all of Bali, Sekumpul Waterfall. Nestled in the lush tropical jungle, it's like stepping into a real-life paradise. The entrance fee is around 125,000 Indonesian rupiah, which is roughly 7 US dollars. Not too far from here is Mount Badar, Bali's second largest volcano. This area is famous for glamping and offers stunning sunrise views if you're up for an early morning adventure. Ulan Danu Temple If temples are more your style, make sure to visit Ulan Danu Temple, one of the most iconic and photographed temples in all of Bali. It's located right on the shores of a peaceful lake, creating a picturesque scene that you don't want to miss. Kelling King Beach Now, we're hopping over to Kelling King Beach in Nusa Panita, a nearby island that's definitely worth visiting. The cliffs at Kelling King Beach form the famous T-Rex shape that you've probably seen on Instagram. While you're in Nusa Panita, be sure to visit Diamond Beach as well. Both beaches are stunning and offer a tranquil escape from the busier parts of Bali. Sulyaban Beach and Uluwatu back on Bali's mainland, we head to the southern part of the island to Sulyaban Beach. Known for its great surfing conditions. Even if you're not a surfer. This area is fantastic for soaking up the sun, though the currents can be strong. So be careful if you plan on swimming. Sulyaban Beach is home to the famous single fin bar. Where you can watch the surfers in action while enjoying a drink. The surf here is better suited for experienced surfers, so if you're a beginner, you might want to sit this one out. Uluwata Temple nearby is Uluwata Temple, one of the most famous temples on the island, perched on dramatic cliffs overlooking the ocean. The entrance fee is 50,000 Indonesian rupees, about 3 US dollars, for adults and 20,000 Indonesian rupees for kids. Be careful, though, this area is home to some mischievous monkeys. They're known to snatch your belongings, so keep a close eye on your stuff. While at the temple, don't miss the catch a fire dance that happens during sunset. The performance is held in an outdoor amphitheater and is an amazing cultural experience. Rock Bar at Ayana Resort for another unforgettable sunset experience, check out the Rock Bar at the Ayana Resort. This upscale bar is perched on the cliffs, offering panoramic views of the ocean. There's a minimum spend of around 250,000 Indonesian rupees, about 20 US dollars. But the atmosphere and views are worth it. You can sit back, relax, and sip on cocktails as you watch the sun dip below the horizon. Garuda Wisnu Kanchana Cultural Park for a cultural experience. Visit the Garuda Wisnu Kanchana Cultural Park, home to the massive Garuda Wisnu statue. Construction on this statue started in 1993 but wasn't completed until 2018. Standing at 121 meters, 397 feet, it's one of the tallest statues in the world. You can take a tour inside the statue, which offers beautiful views of Bali from the 23rd floor. 
Sanur Beach next up is Sanur Beach, one of my favorite spots for a more laid-back Bali experience. Sanur is a bit calmer and less crowded compared to the popular beach areas like Kuta and Seminyak. The atmosphere here is more relaxed, and it's perfect for families or anyone looking for a slower pace. Sanur also has beautiful fire shows at night, like the one at the Hyatt Regency. Icon Bali Mall A newer attraction in the area is the Icon Bali Mall, a modern shopping destination that opened in 2024. It's got a chic, indoor-outdoor vibe with plenty of shops, restaurants, and entertainment options. If you're staying in Sanur, this is a great spot to unwind after a day at the beach. Kuta Beach Nightlife For a completely different vibe, head over to Kuta Beach. Known for its lively nightlife, Kuta is where you'll find bars, clubs, and beach parties. Jalan Legion is the main strip, filled with bustling clubs and restaurants. If you're looking for a fun night out, Kuta Beach is the place to be. Mahaganga Rice Terraces For something more peaceful, visit the Mahaganga Rice Terraces. These terraces are less crowded and more serene than some of the more famous ones on the island. Making it a great place to relax and take in the scenery. This area is also close to Tartaganga Temple, another beautiful spot to explore. Virgin Beach and Bug Bug Village For a beach that's a little more off the beaten path, head to Virgin Beach. It may not be as virgin as it once was, but it's still a peaceful, less touristy destination on the northeastern side of Bali. Nearby, you'll find Bug Bug Village, a traditional village where you can experience authentic Balinese culture. Tirta Empol Temple Another temple worth visiting is Tirta Empol, where visitors can take part in a water purification ritual. The temple's pools are fed by natural springs, and it's a significant spiritual site for the Balinese people. Just make sure to wear a sarong when visiting the temple as it's required for both men and women. Tanalat Finally, no trip to Bali is complete without visiting Tanalat, a temple perched on a rocky outcrop in the ocean. It's particularly beautiful at sunset, but be prepared for crowds. Depending on the tides, you may be able to walk right up to the temple. Lombok and Gili Islands If you have time, take a trip over to the nearby Lombok Island, which you can reach by ferry or a short flight. The Gili Islands are also nearby, offering stunning beaches, crystal clear waters, and excellent diving opportunities. Changu Beach and Beach Clubs Last but not least, we visit Changu Beach, a hotspot for younger travelers. Known for its trendy beach clubs like Finns Beach Club and Atlas Beach Club, Changu is perfect for those looking for a party atmosphere. There are also plenty of surf schools if you want to hit the waves. It's a great place to end your Bali adventure with bonfires, live music, and good vibes. Ubud Art and Culture Finally, we wrap up our tour with a visit to Ubud, the cultural heart of Bali. Ubud is famous for its art markets, lush jungles, and tranquil atmosphere. It's a bit cooler up here, which is a nice break from the heat of the coast. If you're an art lover or looking for some peace and quiet, Ubud is a must visit. If you enjoyed this tour of Bali, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more travel content. Watch our other videos, including our full Indonesia travel guide. Thank you for watching Wonderworld Travel Explorations.